So I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I'm definitely not an expert about body armor. However, I feel like this is an area of self-defense that I need to explore because I really haven't explored it before. But the only problem is I'm not really the kind of guy that likes running around in the chest rig while pretending to be G.I. Joe and funneling myself and chanting, come and take it. That's just not me. I don't know, I guess I just see the world differently. So because I'm not that kind of guy, I started looking into some more covert options for body armor. Not only just covert, but things that I could probably integrate into my daily life without being conspicuous. And so I stumbled across this company called Premier Body Armor. You probably heard about them by now. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. They didn't pay me any money to make today's video. However, I did ask them to send out some of the stuff that we are testing in today's video. That way I could see if it's worth a crap or not. So, you know, thank you to those guys for sending it out, but they didn't pay me to do this. However, I will say this, if you see anything in today's video that you wanna check out and maybe pick up for yourself or check the price of, follow the very first link in the video description. That link will also be pinned in the comments section for you guys. That'll redirect you to my blog post about this stuff. There'll be links to everything that we're talking about in today's video. There'll also be links to other stuff and promo codes for other stuff. And if you use those links to buy anything at all, it gives us a small percentage and that's how we're able to keep the channel going because you know, freedom of speech nowadays can't be monetized depending on the topic that you're talking about. So I just wanna say thank you to you guys for your support and continuing to keep this channel alive. I really appreciate that. So not being an expert on body armor, I had to kind of reach out to a bunch of people, ask them their thoughts on things. And that helped me in how we're gonna determine whether or not this stuff gets a positive review or a negative review. And I'm gonna kind of do this the same way I do it with a lot of product. I'm gonna look at what the company claims that these things can do and test it against real world. And if it can pass those tests, then it's good to go. You know what I mean? And especially with body armor, because if anything penetrates these, I mean, that's our life on the line. There would be no way I'd recommend this. I got a couple of different products that we're testing. Um, one is their level 3A laptop case. This comes in multiple different colors. This one doesn't have the plates in it. I took them out, uh, but this one does have the plates in it, as you can see. And then this one, I didn't shoot it because, well, I wanna keep it. And this one has a plate in it as well. And all of these plates are level 3A, meaning they can stop all handgun rounds. On their website, they claim that it will stop nine millimeter, 357 mag, 357 sig, 44 mag, and 12 gauge shotgun. I received these at the beginning of the summer of 2021. And as a lot of you guys know, um, I'm in Arizona. And when we go into fire restriction mode, there's no shooting outdoors unless you own property that's at least a quarter mile from any occupied structure that you don't own. So, wasn't able to test it over the summer. Then it got to be fall and I went to go test it. And turns out I tested this one incorrectly. When I went to, when I first started testing, I just taped this guy to my steel target. And as you can see, we got some penetration of a few different things. I was talking about it with a couple of my friends who, who know a lot about body armor and they're like, yeah, you can't test it against a steel target because when you have the steel behind it that's so hard, what'll basically happen is it'll cause penetration that isn't supposed to occur. It needs to be in front of something that's soft, kind of like a body, because it will be able to flex and then it won't penetrate. And I was like, oh crap, oh man. Cause I've really prepared well for that range day. I took my 12 gauge out, all that stuff, but I kind of recalibrated. We figured out a different way to test it. So before we get to testing, let's go over the things that we're actually looking at today. And then that way you will get a better understanding of what we're actually doing. First thing we're looking at is the laptop case that they make. Uh, this comes in two colors. You can get it in this camo or you can get it in solid black, which I'll show you in a second. Has a little place for a patch right here. And I just kind of threw this patch on there. Um, this one doesn't have the panels in it because I, I took them out to shoot through it. But right here, uh, you insert a panel. And then over here, you insert a panel there as well. Now this is a little bit different than most level 3A. And the reason I say that is they basically take level 3A, pretend my hand is a piece of level 3A, and then they split it down the middle. And then one goes right here, and one goes right here. Thought that's kind of interesting. Um, be interesting to see how that actually performs. But this is kind of cool because if you do carry around a laptop with you all the time, you simply just stick this in your backpack, and you know, yeah, your computer might get destroyed, but at least your life will be saved. From what I'm told, you can carry all this stuff through TSA at the airport, so, that's always good. If I'm wrong about that, uh, please let me know in the comments. But from from the people I've spoken with, body armor is TS, is allowed through TSA. So that's kind of cool. 
The second one that we're looking at, I didn't choose this color, but it was the only one left in stock when I got it. And this was back, like I said, early summer of 2021, but pretty cool backpack. It's a Vitkos backpack. They also have a lot of Vertex backpacks as well. So it's an interesting backpack, a uh, lot of straps. Obviously this backpack isn't very covert. I believe my first choice was like a gray or something black, but they didn't have it in stock at the time. Your actual panel is in this zipper here. And I'll be honest with you, this is also level 3A's, I believe. I don't believe that this one's a split design like the one for the laptop, because this one right here is the split version. This is one half of it for the laptop. And then this one's another one. So I basically got two level 3A's right there. That's kind of cool. And then you just, they actually fit inside of this zipper pouch here. There's like a board in there. Uh, but I found that they're, I took them out and they're really hard to put back in. So I just slid them in right here like this. Uh, you got a ton of pockets. You got some uh, Molly webbing and things right here. You got a zipper way up there to put some stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. You could put a lot of stuff in this. You also have a soft pocket right up here. And that'll be for like your sunglasses and things of that nature. You also got like a little clip here just so you don't lose stuff. And then in the main compartment right here, you got all kinds of pockets and compartments. You got a compartment down here. You got this thing here for keeping like wet clothes and shoes and stuff in it. You got a compartment here. I mean, it's a really cool backpack. I mean, you can literally put their plates in any backpack, but I asked them to send this. Oh, never mind. This is the soft compartment for sunglasses. My apologies, not the other one. Uh, you do have another little pocket here. I guess if you had some earbuds, you stick them in there. And then on the front pouch here, you got a little place. Uh, it's a soft holster that'll basically work with any handgun here. And it is clipped on there with these clips that you can see. I haven't, I haven't even played with it yet. I was just getting it out. And then you got more Molly and more pockets here. Another zippered pouch here. More stuff up on the front here. I mean, like tons of storage, it's crazy. And then in the front, you have a really big compartment there. So that's the parts that we got. Um, essentially, your body armor is about as big as this guy right here. And I think that's, that might, depending on your size and you know your chest size and everything, that would probably be enough to really protect you. But I could be wrong. I'm just speculating at this point. But they do have tons of different backpacks. And if you don't want the whole backpack, they have all kinds of different shapes and sizes uh, for the plates. So you could put them into your own backpack. So I thought that was kind of cool. So enough talking about them. Let's go out and test them. All right, this should be good enough for testing body armor. I'm not sure, but let's see how it holds up. All right, so we're gonna use the Wather PDP with the four and a half inch barrel. I'm just gonna shoot some standard nine millimeter at it right now. We'll see what happens. I don't know where that hit. Let me go check. All right, so we got zero penetration on that one. I'm gonna shoot another just to see. All right, I think that one hit low. Oh, that one split pretty good. It really pushed in on the armor. Well, it looks like it collapsed in into the cardboard there. So that's interesting. I'm gonna have to pull it back out and we're gonna try it with some different ammo. All right, so now we're gonna try a 357 Magnum. We're gonna aim upper left of here. I don't know if I'm gonna hit it. I'm not very accurate with this, but let's just see. I'm hitting way high. Well, that one put a hole in it, in the box. I don't know about the uh, body armor. This was the upper left hand corner and I hit it right in the corner and you can see it just skipped off. It didn't actually penetrate, it just kind of skipped off to the edge. This was the first two nine mils, three nine mils right here. Um, this one did go through the first 
right here towards the edges. And then back here, it didn't actually penetrate. So it did stop it. I can feel it kind of right there. And then right here was a good solid hit with the uh, 357 and it did stop it before it went through. So now we're gonna try this with some nine millimeter plus P civil defense, 2000 feet per second. All right, so now we're gonna try the civil defense ammo, see how it runs. So when I'm first looking at this, you can see this is where the two shots of the civil defense went through and it looks like it didn't penetrate. Let's look at the back side, see what that looks like. And back here, you can see it went through that one. And it looks like we got like an edge shot again and then it just pushed it through. So let's try to hit it a little bit higher up and then see if that makes a difference. So did the Liberty Civil Defense actually penetrate this gun? Before we talk about that, I wanted to mention about six years ago, Military Arms Channel did a video with a totally different body armor company. He tested Liberty Civil Defense 9mm against their level 3A plates, and they were hard plates, whereas these are soft plates. And he found that he always he got penetration every single time with level 3A um, using Liberty Civil Defense. Now, Liberty Civil Defense had nothing to do with this video. You know, about five years ago, they sent me some ammo and I had mentioned wanting to test it with body armor and they were like, yeah, we don't wanna be a part of that. Well, I shot all that ammo up and I just went out and bought my own box for today's test. So they had nothing to do with that. I wanna make that very clear. In case you're not aware of what Liberty Civil Defense is, it's a nine millimeter uh, plus P ammo. It only weighs 50 grains and it is hollow point. It travels at, they claim, 2000 feet per second. And so, although this website doesn't say if this will stop it or not, I wanted to test it kind of as the trump card to all the other calibers. Um, every other caliber before Liberty Civil Defense, 100% stopped everything unless it kind of got hit on the edges. The only time I had any type of tearing in the back layer was when it would hit on the edge and push past it and then tear the back panel. So that's good. Um, I was only able to test it with nine millimeter and 357 Magnum. Uh, that was the only two calibers I had. I didn't bring my 45 ACP, but if it'll stop a nine millimeter and 357 Magnum, it'll definitely stop 45 ACP and 12 gauge. For the Liberty Civil Defense, I believe it was these four, somewhere in here. And as you can see, when we turn it over to the back, it's pushed in quite significantly. It actually made a hole here and a hole here and a hole here but it didn't actually penetrate this back portion. And I think that says something to the quality of this body armor. I am gonna do further testing with it because this is a dual panel design and they do have single panel design. So I don't know if it being two separate halves of level 3A, I don't know if that made the difference, but it's pretty cool to know that it stopped 2000 feet per second, nine millimeter. Now, if you don't like laptop cases and backpacks, they have a ton of other stuff where you can make almost anything bulletproof with their panels. Um, they even have a bulletproof wallet. I don't know why you'd need that, but hey, maybe if you carried your wallet on your chest, just in case, I don't know. But they have a level 3A three ring binder for crying out loud. They even have a level 3A pencil pouch to go inside your uh, bulletproof three ring binder. I mean, that would be pretty legit right there, like doubling up on it all in one little thing. That's kind of cool. They have a ton of different backpack bundles. Another one that I would be really interested in trying is their Everyday Armor t-shirt. Essentially, it's an undershirt that has level 3A inserts it, and it has inserts on the front as well as the back and you can get it in black or white. It looks to be like something that's really legit and you could wear it under your clothes almost without anybody really knowing that you're wearing body armor. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't care about playing GI Joe. I say all that to say this, do these really pass my test, I guess you could say, for body armor for my own personal use? And I would say yes for two reasons. Number one, it definitely lived up to the ballistics chart that they have posted on their website and stopped the calibers that it said it would stop. Um, number two, it's definitely covert. And I like the fact that you can 
it's very modular and you can order plates in different sizes to fit whatever need that you have for yourself. Based on my test, I would trust my life with this. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm very hesitant when I say that um, because I know that a lot of you guys make purchases based off of my opinions. And that's not something I take lightly because I care about you guys and I don't want anyone to ever get hurt based on my recommendations, but something that you should always keep in mind when, whether you're watching my videos or anyone else's videos. I have a sample size of one. I will ask them to send out more so I can continue to test. But you know, there have been times where I've recommended products in the past and I've had great luck with them. And then, you know, say a hundred people order the product, one or two people might not have the same results that I have. And so I would say this, if you're gonna order something from them, you know, say you want to order this laptop case. If you can afford it, order a couple of extra sets of plates and go out and do the test yourself just to verify because that's ultimately what's the most important. I don't want to recommend something that could potentially hurt you guys. And I, I do love you guys with all my heart. I want you guys to know that. And if you like today's video, hit the like button. It really helps us get more exposure on the platform. If you disliked it, make sure to hit the dislike button twice. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But until next time, guys, I love you. You guys stay sexy.